Hey guys, we're sitting out here. I just got the feeder from Redneck uh, completed here, and I'll show you guys some uh, the process there here in just a few minutes. But I want to do a quick little um, video in regards to just kind of introduction there. Uh, this is the 750 pound feeder from Redneck. We're running our heavy rack deer feed in there, and um, the amount of assembly time I'd, I'd say it was probably sitting right around uh, 45 minutes there. Actually, had a couple hang ups that. I included in the video kind of make sure you guys uh, don't follow suit in that and uh, kind of walk through this stuff uh, you do have I'm gonna say that thing is probably close to seven foot tall there at the top and then your gravity feeder there and then you've got uh, four different bolt holes here and on those uh, you've got three different um, three different settings there so if you use uh, the top four holes uh, we'll set the um, bottom of the feeder approximately 50 inches there. So basically what you're doing is you'd be raising this thing up and then the top of your gravity feeder there would be uh, 50 inches there. And then if you've got the middle one there, it's at 47. As you guys can see, we have 47 there. And then the bottom ones would be 44 inches. Now you have those adjustments there. I decided to go in the middle because I saw what this gravity feeder has and you've actually got three different screw holes in there so you can fluctuate it up and down in regards to also the distance there. Um, typically you're going to want your deer feeder on most deer throughout the midwest around that 40 to 42 inch range there but the cool thing about rednecks is I think that the reason why they designed that the way that they did is if you were to feed a much larger animal there um, you know for example maybe an, even an elk uh, you could definitely roll with this thing, um, you know, depending on the, uh, you know, the, I guess the head, and, you know, an elk's going to be a lot larger than a whitetail is, or even the mule deer, but I think that that's probably some of the reason why they did what they did there, but overall, I've been really impressed with the uh, durability of this. It does come with two stakes there that you guys can hammer in the ground there, so if you are going to use those, I'd hit, you know, one here, and then on the opposite one, um, See how I'd set that thing up, and then you've got uh, your brace bars there, and it really works out good. So, the very first step there is to get uh, this top brace right in through here uh, connected um, there with these. And then, as you guys can see, I end up putting the bolts going out, so your nut's going to be on the outside there. And basically, the reason why is that gravity feeder will actually fit right up in there. You don't want those bolts hitting that uh, feeder. And it should be pretty smooth uh, in and out transition there. And then the next step was actually get your bottom legs there. Now, as you guys can see in the video, uh, one of the key deals there is make sure when you install this piece here that you've got these bolts, uh, these bolt holes on this piece on the lower end here. So you actually have your two bolt holes here so make sure that that one is closer because if you flip the flop that 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 thing your brace will will not be able to fit and you're gonna have to redo it there um, as you guys can see in the video I don't tighten these until I'm there just for that exact reason um, but it does have the, uh, the next step is just to go ahead and put your brace bars on there and then your foot pegs and then basically you're ready to rock and roll um, installing your gravity feeder uh, head there and basically I went through the inside of that uh, feeder put that main connection in there and then went ahead and took your two bolts uh, screwed them in there and then you've got a small little adjustment inside that fetal, uh, feeder uh, nozzle there that will really help you guys out in regards to how much feed you want and basically all you're doing is filling that feeder up putting your uh, um, putting your uh, cover on there for your lid and then latching that thing on there and you guys are going to be sitting in a good good situation in a hurry um, you know these blinds are very well made they're made actually out of the same fiberglass it looks like as their big fiberglass blinds there so really look forward to getting this thing out there so hopefully you guys are getting out there in nature like always best of luck on your upcoming hunt